What's poppin' y'all? It's your boy Mr. J here. We here. Ayana fight. I said it right? Mm-hmm. I didn't. Just say Ayana. Ayana? <laughs> I didn't yeah. say it right? No, you said it right. I just, people don't be like, Ayana fight. I mean, I, that's your Instagram name shit. It's, it is. You right. Now, what's, your, what's that for? What's that? It's a chaser. You gotta take a shot first. Oh, you, you got two cups. Yeah, you right. Yeah, it's a chaser. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. My bad, my bad. You booze, you gotta use a cup for your chaser, so you can't use a, the, uh, the, the plastic bottle. Mm -mm. Oh, my God. Here you go. Here, let's take a shot. This is for um. You get here safe. You didn't even pour me a shot. No, you got. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me let me open it. You got to put your own shot though. I do. Yeah. yeah. Why? Like, is a thing like you pour your own poisons. So I let you. Oh, I've never heard of that. You never heard of that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta get like you get yourself drunk. Drunk. You can't. I can't. I can't get you drunk. Damn, and you be like, okay. it was Jay for. Nah. So we, that's just a shot. We still gonna pour a drink. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, take a shot for you get here. For your hair being done. Okay. You look good. Thank you. You tell me I'm regular. You look good. Thank you very Take a much. shot. Come on, let's get it. Ah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. Excuse me for the... um. It's mango juice. Excuse me for the uh, the clear. Like, I I, I usually get um, Reposado. Yeah, that shit is disgusting. But we it wasn't that bad, but I drink Reposado, too. Yeah, yeah. But no, nah, like, what's going on? How you feeling? Um, I'm tired. Yeah, I understand. I'm tired, too. I know. It's late. I'm sorry. I'm a nah, little late. You are good. <laughs> I'm the sorry, drink... everybody. I know everybody has things to do. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to be late. The drink's going to get us lit. Okay. Yo, you said it's, it's mango. Is it not? I think so. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, that's Should what I, I ask like... Like, people, like, are you allergic to anything first before I just buy mango and shit? I feel like if people know they have allergies... They just they shouldn't drink unknown unmarked stuff. Especially like, if it's like this color, mm -hmm. that might be mango. If I had a food or fruit allergy, I wouldn't just drink that. Mm. Okay, so yo, I, um, let's let's get fast forward to people for a second. Okay, I met this young lady in a dog park. Right, <laughs> let me tell y'all, we just you know doing shit that people do at the dog park. You know, letting out dog shit and shit like that. Play <laughs> with each other. She has a dog named Blossom, and Blossom be playing with uh. Layla, my dog, all the time. And I'm like, I've seen somebody ask somebody else, like, yo, what's your Instagram? And I'm like, you know what? Why not? Because usually I go to the dog park and I let my dog just play or whatever. And I'm like, fuck it. Why not? I'm going to just start asking people with their Instagram. So I'm like, yo, like, i seen somebody ask, what's your Instagram? She like, et cetera, et cetera. I'm like, what you do? She like, I do YouTube. So I'm like, all right. Like, talk to me about YouTube. She start talking to me about YouTube. I go in the house. And I see she on the show, Growing Up Hip Hop. I'm like, the fuck? I'm like, is that something that you just don't tell everybody? Like, because you started awkward. with YouTube. Well, it's awkward wow. to say, um, I want a TV show. It just sounds, it don't sound right. It sounds like cocky. Like, it just don't sound right. I don't just say, I want a TV show. I'd rather just say I do YouTube. Because it is what I do right now. Growing up hip hop is not happening right now. Okay. So right now, that that is my job. Okay. Are you, but you said something um, the other day about like going to work. Did you have the... You got yeah. a job now? Yes. Talk so, to me about that. Hey, you want, growing you up in Pop Atlanta has been off the air for like over a year now. What happened? COVID, everything happened. So, I mean, but the, it's fine because I wasn't going back for another season. I mean, anyway. I feel like I see shows that still go on through Everybody COVID. has different precautions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it, I don't know what's going on with it now because I, I wouldn't go back to it. But mm -hmm. um, Trying to put it in your, in your, your camera view. Is that uh, blocking her view? All right, now you go, you go. Um, so I started doing YouTube more seriously because I would do it like off and on. Mm -hmm. Then I started doing it more seriously, and since I've been doing YouTube more seriously for like a year and a half, um, I've been going crazy. Shit, been going nuts. I've been no, it's been doing good, but I've been going crazy. Oh, like, I okay, talk I get to it. a computer. I talk to my camera all day. Sheesh. I don't. It's How frustrating me, is that? Am I, it's very frustrating. I need human interaction. Mm. So. I decided to get a job, but I didn't want to just get like a like an office job. I was like, it needs to still be like in a beauty space so that it can still relate to what I'm doing on YouTube. Um, so I just started working at a plastic surgery office. What? Okay, I feel like people don't just come around these jobs just every day. Plastic surgery, how, like how? Like, do you knew somebody? What? Like no, I googled it. I was like, I, I just wonder if they're because I literally was like. I'm not going to work, like, I literally was looking for a job that I was like, it literally needs to relate to what I'm doing now, 
I just I just was like, well, plastic surgery is like in a beauty space or even like a med spa, maybe where they do like fillers and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I was like, let me see if there's a med spa or a plastic surgery office that's hiring. And I found a plastic surgery office that was hiring. That's the only one I applied for. I literally was like, if I don't get it, I'm not applying for nothing else. I low key was hoping that I didn't get it so I can just have an excuse to still not work. Um, but I ended up getting it. So, <laughs> so now you, that's where I work. You really didn't need the job, I'm assuming. No. Not really. So they when you don't. So like your YouTube, right? Mm-hmm. Is doing good. Mm-hmm. It looks like it's doing really well. I'm, I'm assuming it's bringing in the money. We talked about it a little bit. We're gonna talk about it now. Okay. So when you get the job, mm-hmm. plastic surgery spot. I'm assuming it's not like that much well paid, or like like is it really? So. If it was just if if it if I literally was looking for a job, it's a it's a pretty good job. Mm. You make a good amount of money and you get a commission as well. And the oh, that's different. place yeah. that I work at, we make like seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars a month. So you get commission off of that oh, too. So you get your check and you get commission off of that, and you bonus every time you make the. It's really good. Oh, I, I can make a lot of money there. <laughs> Um, so it's not just like a oh I got a little job that just paid me twenty dollars an hour blah, blah, blah. No, they that's pay what me I was way mo- honestly no, they, no, I get paid way more than that. And on top of that, commission and bonuses and stuff like that. It's a very 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 well paying job. But I wasn't expecting that when I applied for it. Okay. I wasn't expecting to get paid that much. Okay, when I applied for so, the job. but you would have done like something that's like twenty. Cause, 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 of course, it we wasn't know about you don't need money, it. Yeah, so yeah. So care. that's what I'm saying. So, you, yeah. but you would have did it. You I told my girlfriend when they when they told me that I got hired, she was like, "Well, what if they offer you this?" I was like, "Well, I don't care about the money. I really don't care what they offer me. I literally just need to be around people before I jump off a bridge, like mm. literally." Um, because she work all day, right. so it's me and Blossom and in the YouTube camera all day. Damn, and she, Blossom but, don't talk back. So. I, how long you been? Um, how long you had a job? Um, uh, since December six. So you so, had this, a, like a month, a little okay. over a month. Okay. I went to, they sent me to Sacramento to train. Um, So I was in Sacramento for like a week. And okay. Then I came back yeah, and like, it's a good job. <laughs> it's say, actually a really good job. I'm, I say like, thanks. Like if, if and when I ever like decide to leave, like I would refer somebody like, no, you need to, this is a really That's good cool job. That's cool as hell. It's a good job. But did it get in the way of like, because I'm pretty sure like when you're doing content or like your YouTube, you had a schedule, like did it get in the way, did it? Fuck up your what you had going on with the YouTube. I'm tired. I'm actually very tired. I'm used to I'm used to being able to space out my content and sponsorships throughout the week, and now I'm forced to like just do it Saturday and Sunday because after I get off work, I'm not about to do that. I'm mm. literally tired. Um, so like today, I had to film two videos back to back because I have sponsorships that are due by tomorrow. Mm. When I leave here, I actually need to go back and edit those two videos so I can submit them tonight. Um, and then do it all again tomorrow. I have Saturday and Sunday to do seven sponsorships. Damn. Can we talk about um, the editing process for a second? Um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> for the people that, like, just starting their YouTube and they want to uh, do vlogs and things like that, they they don't know how to edit. They want to pay somebody to edit it. Like, talk to me about that for a second. Have you tried to pay somebody? It's like, nah, I need to learn myself. Like, No, I wouldn't pay anybody to edit because it's easy. Mm. It's e- Well, it's easy for me. It's not easy for it. First of all, there's a YouTube video for anything. Learn, I learned University. how to edit from YouTube. Facts. <laughs> um, if you don't not know how to edit, I would say the easiest thing to do is iMovie. That's mm. the first place that I, that I edited was iMovie. That's the easiest. That's like the most foolproof way to edit your stuff. From and there, what you went to? Final Cut Final, Pro. Yeah, I'm assuming. So that's what I use now okay. because I, I really know how to edit now. But when I first started, I was only using iMovie. It's really similar, it's though. It's actually it's very similar. Final Cut Pro just has, has better... Um, Plugins, they mm-hmm. have better LUTs, colors, they, yeah, a lot, a lot, they, have, a lot of stuff. they have better everything. See, I um, use um, not to cut you off, I use Adobe Premiere. Okay. So like, I learned how to edit on Final Cut. Okay. So like, it was hard, for, not hard, but it was weird to transition. But yeah. then when I went to edit on iMovie, it reminded me of Final Cut, so yeah. I could see that. Yeah. But yeah, so like, you 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 all you always was like, I'm editing my own stuff. You never. Yeah. Said. Well, my girlfriend used to edit my stuff actually. That's cool. When I first 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 started YouTube like two years ago she was editing that's hard my stuff and bought like all my camera equipment and stuff like that and then Damn. she was like all right now <laughs> i got a job i can't be doing this uh when i started making more and more videos she was like i can't edit all these videos so she sent me some videos on youtube for me to learn how to edit you know what made her like say i'm gonna buy your equipment for you like you yeah me just it? sitting in the house and not doing nothing basically okay. and i would keep talking about 
doing YouTube, but I wasn't really taking the steps to actually do anything on YouTube. So she just bought all the equipment. So talk to me two years ago. Well, I kind of don't want to start here because people want to know, growing up, growing up hip hop, I feel like that's was popular, right? Mm -hmm. But I definitely want to talk about this. Um, So we're going to talk about this. We'll talk okay. about this stuff later. <laughs> so two years ago when you first started, was it hard to get into like making these videos every day? Like, how was that for you when you first started? Because I know a lot of people say I want to do this and just is they don't do it. It was it's weird at first because you're in a the first time it was very weird. I was in a room by myself, mm -hmm. had my camera set up, and I started talking to the camera. But when you first do it, it just feels weird because it's like you just feel weird talking to yourself, mm -hmm. I'm talking to myself, I'm talking to a camera. It's nobody in a room with me. You feel weird, like. I felt like kind of lame. Like it was just like I'm. I'm literally just talking to myself. But the more I did it, the more I just got used to it. Okay. Your first, your first video you did. Uh, do you remember that that first video? Yes, my first video actually was. Don't tell me. Let me ask. Let me assume. Okay. I'm gonna guess and let me know if it's right. You're was not it? Get a, it right. I'm not gonna get it right. Mm -mm, but you can guess. All right. So was it a Q and A? It was, but what was it? What was the topic? Oh, I can't. I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm, it was. It was a Q and A. I'm assuming. I mean, I feel like that's the easiest thing. Yeah. Maybe. Mm hmm So, what, what was the topic? Uh, breast reduction. I had a breast reduction, and it was a lot of people. And I had a breast reduction on the show. Remember, yo, one of. Yeah, my bad. I'm sorry. No, I gotta fine. like. I gotta do. You for me? No, you. <laughs> gotta make sure this shit right. We're gonna do this. Shit I don't want to be talking. They be like, damn, we ain't getting none of this. No, no, we, we got it. It's just okay. I just want. I is. I'm sorry, but yeah. So I had a breast reduction, and my first um, YouTube video was a Q and A for people who were asking me different questions about my experience getting a breast reduction. Okay, so I got it. So I gotta go here, kind of. Two years ago, was you? You was doing um, growing up hip hop. Mm-hmm. I think I've been doing grown up hip hop for like four years. So do you hear? So I'm gonna say this, and don't 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 take me wrong. Do you hear people say like, I mean, it's easy for you to start. Like yeah, but it wasn't you, actually DJ Hurricane's daughter. He's it wasn't though. It actually really wasn't. To be honest with you, grown up hip hop it does it does something for you, but it's not like other shows. It's not. It's not Real um, Housewives. Hip, yeah, yeah. It's not stuff like that where you just take off. It is a smaller audience. We TV. It's not VH1 or Bravo or anything. Okay. Um, or TLC. They're starting to get more shows that are putting them like more on the map. But We TV is not on the same level as other networks. Okay. Um. So it was. It was. It. It gave me like a following, but it didn't like make me like take off. Um. So it actually. My first di video did really well, but when I was still recording after that, my channel was kind of stagnant for a while, and that made me not be consistent with it. Mm. So, what's stagnant though? Like, what's the numbers you're talking about? I wasn't even at ten thousand on YouTube. I think I was like stuck at like between five and seven thousand subscribers for a very long time. Bro, that's a lot. But <laughs> it's not a lot for somebody who's on TV. Okay, but was it, so and co and comparable to my YouTube. I mean, not to my YouTube, comparable to my Instagram. Okay, it wasn't a lot. So what was it? But all right, I like that. Let's stay there. You, you you got seven thousand subscribers. You can have a hundred thousand subscribers and still do a low count of numbers on mm -hmm. the views. What was your views doing though? Um, it was so the rule of thumb for YouTube is when what however oh sorry no, however good. many subscribers you have you should be getting ten percent engagement. So I was doing the ten percent. It just like seven hundred. Seven yeah. If you I should I should, I was doing more than oh, my actual ten percent of good, engagement. Though. Yeah, but I felt like it was stagnant for a long time. I mm. felt like it wasn't moving. Like, it's good to be in this spot where I felt like it, we, I was going nowhere with it. So, so what, like, what made you, like, keep going then? Because if you feel like you stuck. No, like... I stopped doing it for months. Mm. And then I think when I made the decision mentally that I didn't want to do growing up hip-hop no more, I was like, I need to figure out another way to make money basically mm. because I know that I really don't like doing this no more so I need to find another way to make money and then I was like okay well let me get back on my YouTube and see like where that could go and then that's when I started being consistent with it and when I started being consistent with it then it really like, so when you say consistent like what's consistent like so I upload twice a week and that's to this day yeah so what did you always start at twice a week was you doing more no, or I was uploading like once a month okay if that like I might Upload once and then skip two months and then upload again. But right now it has to be twice. And, and twice it's, I, I can out 
it, it has to at least be once a week. But okay. I like to try to make sure it's Sunday and Thursday. Sometimes I miss Thursday. I will never miss Sunday. So give me a, like, I'm a, I'm a young lady or even a young guy that's trying to start this blog stuff, right? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to, I'm just trying to start. Like, how, what, what advice would you give me if, if you had to? To be consistent. I would have gave my, if I would have gave myself that advice. Like, if I was looking at myself back when I first started YouTube, I would have just said be, be But consistent. that's easy. Let's, it's no, not I, easy, though. It's well, actually no, well, not no, easy. No, being, no, being consistent isn't being easy. I feel like, I feel like saying be consistent is easy. But for me, I feel like that is the biggest thing because people think that you need all this equipment for YouTube. And do you know that that camera that my girlfriend actually bought me was like three thousand dollars? And the since I've been consistent on YouTube, I use my cell phone. Mm -hmm. But that's what I'm. There we go. Yeah, that's I what I'm talking about. I use my cell phone. I don't film with a, with a regular camera because I just don't feel like setting it up. Because your people don't. A lot of people don't realize like your iPhone films in 4K. You literally uh -uh. do not need a professional camera unless you want, like, wide lens or anything like that. But to get started, if you have an iPhone, you can get started. I tell people that all the time. And a lot of people don't understand that you're not watching 4K anyway. Yeah. For the most part, you yeah. 1080p. And honestly, even on YouTube, a lot of times if, you, if you're if you not going to the settings button, button and and changing the... Uh, the 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 quality yeah it starts at like 760 yeah or something like that so like yeah. you're not even i know to change it because i think because i'm yeah, <laughs> yeah i can't watch it in yeah, that facts. Like, but i feel like other people don't i feel like i'll do something in 4k i'll be like man i hope everybody put it in 4k facts. i did all this i i used up all this memory to save this Nigga, video all in 4K. this time waited <laughs> to upload better this be watching this video in 4K. Yeah. but i say that because like people are always like i need what he got what no. she got bro you just can do use your, your camera phone. you can go phone. to amazon and buy like a microphone and a stand for your phone literally for like twenty dollars so if you wasn't so i feel like and I, i'm just trying to have the transparent conversation i feel like you, you having a breast reduction, you being on growing up hip hop, your father being who he is, DJ Hurricane used to run with run DMC and things like that. All that makes you somebody that, that I want to hear from. To the average girl or the average woman that don't have these things and they make a YouTube, me personally, I'm going to go first. I just, I wouldn't say make something personal. No, like far as the Q &A. I would say follow the trend. There we go. Okay. And whatever is popular on whatever is popular, like in your field like because it's different things people want to start uh youtubes for finance people mm. want to start youtubes for makeup people actually i don't that i don't recommend because actually makeup tutorials aren't actually doing that well on youtube so mm. i wouldn't suggest for anybody to start off with makeup but there's different things in your field and when you actually go on youtube and type in just whatever's in your field. Like, say you're just a tech person, see what the newest stuff in tech is, like, that everybody's talking about. Mm. Even if you can't afford to buy it, you can go to Best Buy and test it out at Best Buy and then give your opinion on it. Like, it Damn. just needs to be whatever is the trend in your world. That's good advice. See, I like that. That's that's not just be consistent. Yeah. I like that. But you do got to be consistent. Yeah, of course. Because, look, say you're following the trend. If you wait too long to upload it, then it's not a trend no more. Mm. So you can't you if you're not being consistent if you're not being consistent then it don't matter if you're following the train you could record something if this light was popular you recorded it you recorded something about this light but you didn't upload it till three weeks later and the light's not popular no more then it don't matter that you recorded that video nobody cares no more so Yo, you have to be consistent. Nah, facts. Talk to me about some of like the most frustrating times that you had when you was doing content and like I don't know you might have lost some fucking files or like what's, what was the most frustrating time that you that you had during this content time of yours um actually the most frustrating thing is putting all your hard work into a video sending it to a brand and they don't approve it if you have a sponsorship okay I'm putting, about to say, I, could, I can't relate putting all your hard work into like a video oh my god it took me a full day to edit this video it took me a full day to film this video you send it to the brand that sponsored the video and they don't like the video wow you have to do it all over again damn that's annoying yo tell me about so i'm an influencer now okay you feel me? I had my first little. I ain't get paid yet, but I was like, okay. I'm about to go here. No, some 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 brands, most brands pay me net thirty, right? That's what they call it. I don't I don't do net thirty. You okay. have it has to be net fourteen. Okay. I don't I don't, and you can ask that. Okay. I oh. Would never take net thirty. See, I don't I'm know. Not uploading this video or uploading this content, and you not paying me till a month later. Mm. But I understand <laughs> that some brands. They they work with so many influencers. There is a process for paying you, but there's no reason why it should take you 30 days to pay me. Right. I'll give you 14 days, 
and I really want you to pay me before 14 days. I want to get paid the day I upload. <laughs> most, most brands do, most brands pay me, so what will happen is they'll pay me half up front, and then I'll do the content, send it to them for approval, and when they approve it, either they'll pay me after they approve it, and I'll give them the date that it goes up, or they'll pay me the other half when the video goes up. Damn. But some some brands, actually, the, like, the more popular the more popular the brand is, the longer they take to pay because they have so much going on in their finance department. Have you ever, like, have you ever got net 30 or, like, never? No. So you all, you already knew to say, to make, to, to say, yeah, give you the demand. Yeah, when I signed the contract, I was like, why does this say net 30? And they were like, that's just our process. That was the first company that I ever saw that said net 30. I was like, why does it say that? And they was like, that's just our way of paying. Like, that's our that's our system. And I was like, I'm not doing content. And you pay me 30 days later. So they, they was like, well, we can change it to net 14. And I was like, okay, perfect. And then after I saw that that brand was like, I can change it to net 14. That. Everybody that sends me a contract that says net 30, I say, no, net 14. Mm. But what about? Talk, but again, we gotta have this conversation because, like, we can't. A lot of times, I feel like people um, downplay their celebrity, and I don't want to get into that situation. And what I what I mean by that is, I, we gotta recognize that you are somebody. Like, you are Ayana, and you are I'm somebody. Not a celebrity. But, but my dad is a celebrity. Right. But we. I just want to recognize. But even still, you got the numbers, right? To somebody that's just starting, like mm-hmm. for me, right? Like that's my first time ever getting offered a. a, a, a um, are you excited? Yeah, I was excited. For I, my I first was excited. Brand deal. I'm like, like yo, take a picture and post it and talk about the app. It was that cracking app? Like, talk about crypto and stuff. Like, okay. I was, <laughs> I was very excited about my first brand deal. So, but to people that, that might not have as many numbers as to you or whatever, like, do if, if they can't do net 14, do you say say no or you say get it? No, I wouldn't say say no. The reason why I don't take net 14 is because I have so many brands mm. offering me. You can do that. I, yeah, I, I can say, all right, well, if you don't like my terms, then I just don't want to work with you. Mm. Um. But if this is your first sponsorship and the brand is really pushing for net 30, absolutely. But I would say make them choose. You're not doing net 30 and getting a discounted rate because they always want a discounted rate. Mm. You can choose one or the other. I'm not giving you this discounted rate when I actually charge this amount. And then you also are waiting 30 days to pay me a discounted rate. So brands be asking for discounts? Yeah, they'll ask you for like your media kit. And how much you charge for like each, uh, for like they have different things. Each brand wants something different. Some people may be like, I want sixty seconds in your video. Mm-hmm. Some people are like, I want a dedicated video, which I don't do anymore anyway. So I always say no to that. Um, or they say, Oh, I just want ninety seconds to two minutes in a vlog or something. So they ask you to send over like your rate list, and then they'll be like, oh, Okay, this was a little bit out of our range. Can we do this instead? Um, and it's up to a person whether they want to negotiate or not. I don't mind negotiating my rate, but you're not getting the full time. Mm. So you're not going to ask me to do a full a two minute sponsorship, but you want to pay for for you want to pay less than what I charge for a two minute sponsorship. If this is if this is what you can pay, that's fine. But now you're only getting sixty seconds. Mm. Like I'm not going to talk about your brand for two minutes when you're not paying the two minute rate. That makes sense. So how do you? First of all, a dedicated video. That's, I'm assuming that's a video specifically for mm-hmm. this brand. Yes, is all about this brand. Yeah. Okay. Um, at what point in time did you say I'm I'm not doing this no more? Um, fairly recently, actually. Um, I just don't think that it's authentic. Mm. Um, there's no brand that I want to rave about for 15 minutes in a YouTube video. 15 minutes? That's a long time. I mean, like the brands have. When they do dedicate, yeah, they have stipulations. When they're paying you that much money, they want like uh, at least at least an eight minute video. Damn. There's no brand that I want to sit there and talk about for eight minutes. So it becomes after the first two minutes of the video to me, it become it's not authentic anymore. Mm. Like now, I'm literally just reading everything that you want me to say, and it sounds like a script to me. So I don't offer dedicated video. Yeah, we were just talking about a brand in here that I might can get a. I, I think I could do eight minutes about that. Really. <laughs> No, he's talking about. You ever heard of a? Uh, you ever heard of Honey? Honey. Mm-hmm. The the app with the coupons? No. Okay, never mind. It's like a. It's like a. No. It's like, everybody no, it's like, like no. Sex, everybody like hell no. Nah, that ain't what we talking about. It's okay. like a sex uh, stimulant, I guess, like an organic sex stimulant. You ever heard of it? No. You and your girlfriend should try it. We don't need it. Y'all should try it. You, I'm trying to tell you. What is it? It's an organic. Like you ever heard of like the gas station pills, like Rhino and shit like that. 
You never you heard of it? No. No. Is that for men? Yeah. Right. So they got, but they got something called like Pink Panther for for ladies. Mm -mm. So, listen, listen. listen. (laughs) She like this is is what left. (laughs) I've never heard of this in the gas station. So, people didn't know like Ryan know and shit like that. But what I'm gonna say is, it's something called Honey. And I was just telling them about it. And I was, we'd be talking for like 20 minutes. I could. You used it? I used it one time. You liked it? Oh my God. But what is it? Is it lube? Is it like, what is it? It's like honey. It's literally. Oh, you just eat it. Yo, it's crazy. It's an aphrodisiac. Yeah. Okay. Yo, see, I would never thought of using that word, an aphrodisiac. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, but. It makes you horny. Yeah. Shit, crazy. Okay. You and Amy should do it. No. Yo. We, no, never mind. Yo, I'm trying to tell you. I don't, so, um, I can't speak for all lesbians, but we are already rabbits. I don't think that I should take anything else to stimulate me any further than I'm already stimulated. Can we take a shot to that? Yo, I can see that, though. I feel like girls, I hate it, bro. Like, y'all, it's, it's, we're going to get back to the content. But I just feel like... It's a cheat code. Like, I don't like gay girls, bro. Like, because you can just go for however long yeah, you want. Yeah, we can. Like, you can just, like, me, I got a, I got a limit to my shit. Like, nope. you know I mean? like <laughs> girls, they can just do what the fuck they want. That's, I hate it. That's why I switched over. I ain't got time for that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody feel like waiting on y'all. That's crazy, bro. But let me get another cup. Um, back to the, uh, let me get another cup. We'll take a shot for that. Back to the, um, the content. Yo, how, how do you, um, how do you... Like that time was nasty. How do you get... Um, how do you find these brands where they just find you? Um, I actually don't think that I have ever reached out to a brand. Bro, this ain't fair, bro. No, I'm, finna- I'm about to tell you what I do. do go, ahead, go ahead, go I've never reached out to a brand for a sponsorship. I have reached out to a brand for product. Mm. Um, it's a lot of skincare brands that I like that are actually very expensive. I'm talking like probably $300 for moisturizer type shit. And I'll ask like them. Good, real good. I would hope it's, so, yeah, it's real good. And I pay, and I I buy it, but I'm just like, I have an audience. Let me, Let me ask them if I can. No, for real, I do all the time. And I mean, the worst they can say is no. Right. Um, right. Most of the time, they say yeah, and they'll just send me the products. Um, they'll send me more than what I asked for, which is good for me because I also can do like a giveaway mm. for my followers who you know probably couldn't get a $300 bottle of cream, so I'll send it um, out to them. I send my followers stuff all the time, actually. Um, but I have reached out to brands, and I'll just write them and say, my name's Ayana. I have a YouTube channel where I do beauty, makeup, lifestyle, travel, blah, blah, blah. I wear your stuff all the time. I would love for you to send me some stuff, and I would feature it in one of my videos. Mm. I usually don't do promo in exchange for products at all, but if I'm reaching out to you because I really want your stuff. Um, so I've never reached out to anybody for a sponsorship, but I have reached out to someone for um, for a free product. There is a brand that I low-key do want to reach out to for a sponsorship because I talk about them all the time. And I know for a fact that my subscribers go there because of me. Um, so I am thinking about reaching out to them. So would you find that email? Because maybe I should reach out to Honey because, like... Usually they have like, it... Shit, I've been saying that name and shit. So usually they'll either have it, like, in their... Like, on their Instagram, you can hit email, but a lot of times that's the customer service email. So what I'll do is I'll either email customer service and ask them who does their PR, if they have mm. the email for the PR, or I'll DM them and say, I'm, I want to... I'm looking to get a sponsorship. Who do I address and then they'll like send you the name of the email that's usually even when i dm usually people that run the social media aren't the same people who's running like pr so they'll send me the email to the um other people i'll just copy and paste it and send it to them how did you i think we talked this outside a little bit um how was you able to like measure your um your numbers like what you charge versus how many followers you got etc etc i started doing doing a lot of research um I literally just started doing a lot of research, start and started watching a lot of YouTube videos of people saying like what they charge. I saw like I was on like this blog, this blog one time that talks about YouTubers and they were like showing people's rate sheet. So I was like comparing like mm. my follower count to like them. And then also besides that, somebody having more followers than you, you sometimes you could charge more than them if your engagement rate is higher. Mm. Um, I have a very high engagement rate on YouTube. I get 
more views than a lot of people who have I only have 52,000 subscribers but I get a lot of views and my views sometimes match up with people who have 200,000 subscribers so yeah so if somebody is like well <laughs> this is how many followers you have but you're charging this much I can be like but my engagement rate is through the roof so can you talk to me about um the pay structure of YouTube I feel like mm -hmm. yeah. YouTube is fucking shitty it can be it's, it's not it's not that it's shitty, it's that it's very unreliable. So until you get to a to a certain point, you shouldn't rely on money from YouTube. So once you hit a certain threshold on YouTube, they let you join what they call AdSense. And that's like when Google pays you. Mm -hmm. So when you get AdSense, what happens is um trash, I'm sorry. My experience. AdSense? Fucking it was crazy. I can I can tell you my journey um of AdSense, sorry. My lip gloss is being crazy. Right, fine, take your time. Because um, it was trash at first. <laughs> Very. AdSense was, was trash at first. Bro, that shit, you got to make, you got to be getting like millions of views just to make some money. Bro. No, you don't. Okay. Um, so with AdSense, when I first, when you, you have to meet a certain threshold to get to AdSense. And then, you know, AdSense pays you the 21st every month. But you have to make a certain amount of money for them to even pay you out. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah. Even though we get paid on the twenty first every month, if you didn't make a hundred dollars, you're not getting it until you're you make hundred dollars. Not going to get it until you get hundred dollars. <laughs> right. So that's where I'm at now. <laughs> that's it's ha but that's how. But my first when I first started, even though I was getting a lot of views, I was still not making a hundred dollars. Um, so it would take me content. it would take me three it would take me like three, three months, months to get the hundred dollars. <laughs> Um, oh and it God. wasn't, in, it wasn't a fact of I needed the hundred dollars. It was just like, damn, like I'm doing all of this and I feel like I'm not making anything. So I feel like this, the past maybe nine to 10 months has been very, very good for me when it comes to AdSense. There's two ways mm -hmm. to make money on YouTube, AdSense and sponsorships. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, and actually, ads, AdSense sponsorships and then um, codes. So, like, if I have a code with a brand okay. and somebody uses my code, I get a commission. Mm -hmm. So You can't see that. I'm just letting you know. I know. It's bothering me, though. I can feel it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, so. You want know lip gloss? Hmm? You want know lip gloss? I did, but it was start, it was it was acting funny. It's okay. okay. Um, so, after it took me a while to make the $100, then... When I started first getting more consistent with YouTube, I started noticing that each month I would make like $400. So I was at least meeting the $100 threshold, and I was at least making like $400 a month on YouTube. And that was two videos a week? Yes. So I was making $400. And then it always takes that one video that goes viral for, you, for your shit Channel. to start picking yeah, yeah. up. For me, it was a video that I did about makeup not makeup hairstylist being unprofessional because mm. a lot of girls have issues with like their hair hairstylist being super under, unprofessional and it's what's so funny is that video wasn't popular when i put it out like three weeks later mm. it just started gaining traction that's the and beauty I, in youtube though yeah <clears throat> it, any video it could be a video from last year it will just randomly get popular um but it randomly got popular everybody started picking up on it i guess everybody was sending it to everybody and then that video, when that video got popular, I started making videos like that video. So then I did another one. It was like makeup artist being unprofessional. Mm. And then um, I just kept going like down that road. And then that's when my YouTube, my money started picking up. And that's when my followers started. I was getting crazy followers after that. So then I jumped from like between maybe $400 and $900 a month on, on YouTube it jumped to 2000 a month on YouTube. Damn. And then because I kept being consistent with the type of content that the audience was clearly sticking around for, then it made a jump to literally a jump from, you You can see on my analytics that one month I made 2900 and then for every month after that for four months, it was 6000 Damn. And then now I can say that I'm comfortably at, even if I don't upload twice a week, between six and nine thousand dollars a month from AdSense, not even just AdSense, just AdSense not Jeez. even um, sponsorships. That's dope. And every last one of my videos are sponsored. Can we take a shot to that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I just took a shot. Damn. Well, I did too. 
take a shot of that. Celebrate. It, it just takes for a little bit. That's why I say. That's why I say pour your own poison. See? Okay. Because you could just. But I'm gonna look though, cause I'm gonna judge you. Yeah. I'm gonna judge you. So. Okay. Mm. Um. Yeah. So I'm comfortably at six to six nine, to nine thousand a month on AdSense, and luckily I have been fortunate enough to have every last one of my video sponsored. Put that back in the middle too. I got you. I got you. Oh, okay. Yeah, got you. Oh, what am I doing? I gotta, I gotta take the damn shot. Yeah, okay. Take a shot. Six to nine thousand dollars. Take a shot to that. Put your um, put the bottle in the middle too. I got you. I got you. That's really good though. And then what? Sponsorships. I have been fortunate enough where most of mostly all of my videos have been sponsored. I actually don't want to sponsor all my videos anymore because I just kind of feel like sometimes I literally just want the video, just be about the video, not about the sponsorship. Um, but with sponsorships with YouTube for the past maybe six to nine months i have probably made eighteen thousand a month at least sometimes i can have a a really good month where i might make like twenty five thousand a month on youtube um so it's been getting better there are people who make of course millions a month (laughs) six figures yes a month yeah yeah so but i'm i'm getting i'm getting i'm starting to be where i want to be with YouTube. That's really good. Especially though. because I don't really like to take um sponsorships or anything like that on Instagram. I like my Instagram to just kind of be my Instagram. Can we, um, um, can we talk about uh can we talk about the um you say you don't you, you about to you want sometimes you want your videos to be just a video, right? Yeah. And do you feel like sponsorships take away from the authenticity of it or if it's not so, it, I mean, it can for me because, like, if I'm making a video just for the sponsorship, like, I'm just, like, trying to throw together a video to feature a sponsorship, mm. then I feel like it's not authentic. Sometimes a brand will reach out to me and I'll be like, oh, that's perfect because I actually have a video coming up. Like, I can just feature you in the video that I have already had planned. But when I'm just taking sponsorships with no idea of what the video is going to be, I'm just taking a sponsorship just to take the money, then it's not authentic. Like, I would rather have a video already in the works and then maybe a brand reach out to me. And mm-hmm. then after they reach out to me, I'm like, okay, I have this video already planned coming up. So you can be a part of I, that video. I, I asked that because I feel like in today's age, I feel like the sponsorships are like, that's what you see. Like we see even doing podcasts, it might be something different, but like we see million dollars for a game. They talk on all they, this is sponsored by et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah. they're like, if you look at it, like if you're like an old head like me, or you just like the Joe button podcast, you know that, he don't even do sponsors at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, you see certain people, like, going to sponsorship right because you can get money. But then yeah. you see other people like Joe Button, like, nah, I don't, I'm not even doing that. There's a lot of YouTubers that are still millionaires on YouTube that do not take sponsorships at all. There's strictly a few people. Strictly from pe- YouTube? Strictly from YouTube. Strictly from YouTube. People don't understand, though, that your YouTube, um, somebody who, say, I make the same type of video as somebody who's in finance, right? Mm-hmm. I get a hundred thousand views on this video. He got thirty five thousand dollars views on thirty five thousand views on his video. He will probably make more money than me on AdSense because there are certain topics that make more money because ads pay more to be featured on that video. How would you know that? Is that something that you you would know? Or it's called like your CPM or your RPM or something on YouTube. So if your CPM is like like a finance person, theirs might be like. Twenty five dollars, but somebody that's in like beauty or lifestyle, theirs might be like seven, eight, or nine. So like L'Oreal or just any makeup brand pays less to be featured in beauty sponsor and beauty type videos than like lawyers or like finance people. Those type of ads pay pay to be on finance videos. Okay, like finance people make crazy money on YouTube. Even if you only have five thousand followers, you can make a lot of money on YouTube just doing finance stuff. Damn. It just it just depends on whatever the topic of your video is, whichever sponsors are on your videos where you add the commercials at, whatever they're paying, that's that's what basically you're gonna make. What about um, the length of the video? Do you get paid more for longer videos? You get paid more on longer videos because you can add more ads. So YouTube only lets you add a certain amount of ads if your video is under ten minutes. Okay. So if your video is longer than 10 minutes, you can add more ads. So if your video is under 10 minutes, you can only have an ad in the beginning and the end, and I think one in the middle. 
I think it's 20 minutes. I think they just started doing that. But if, you're at, if your video is longer than 10 minutes, you can have one at the beginning, one at the end, and however many you want in the middle. And you, But this is something that you can do manually. And yeah, this is what you – you pick where your ads go. But how annoying is that, though? Like, do you want to – like, if I if I got a video, my, my podcast be like an hour, sometimes mm-hmm. two hours. Do I want to put it at every 20 minutes? You want to put it where it will be a normal break in the conversation. Okay. You can put as many – as long as it's not, like, in the middle of us talking and then it just cuts to an ad, you mm-hmm. know? Like, mm-hmm. you actually need to watch your video and put your ad where it's, like, a – actual pause in the conversation like you don't want to just say i'm put it i'm put six ads so i'm just gonna put them anywhere you need to like make sure it's at a normal break in the conversation because otherwise you're gonna be in the middle of talking and you're gonna be like uh, an weird. ad is gonna come on in the middle of you talking and it's gonna be like what it's okay. not gonna make any sense all right so it's all about the ad placement when you're talking about making money mm-hmm. yo so something that you, you spoke about you were saying that's like something went viral and you kind of like kept going in that direction mm-hmm. is that a tactic that People should do more often, like because I. Nope, I'm gonna tell you why. Unless it's in your field, because I'll give you an example. There's somebody who is a lifestyle blogger, right? And they want to do vlogs. They doing travel, all type of shit, where they just want their. That's what they want their channel to be about. So let's say that you know that it's really popular to make a video about how much you get paid on YouTube. So you're like, okay, I'm going to film this video because for sure that video is going to do numbers. They always do. Everybody that make a video about how much they get paid on YouTube, it always does numbers. And you say, okay, I'm going to do this video. You do that video, it blows up just like you thought it was going to. Mm -hmm. Now everybody that followed you from that video is following you because of this type of content. Mm -hmm. So either you have to keep making this type of content that you never make telling people what to do on YouTube or you're going to go back to doing your lifestyle vlog and you're going to have all these new followers and you're going to have no engagement because they have no, they don't want to watch that video. That's not what they came here for. They came here for, because you were telling me how much I can make on YouTube. So I expect all your videos to be like that. So how can we, because this now I'm learning, right? So how can I attract that following for something different? Is that possible? Because for example, like my YouTube, Mm -hmm. I have, 30,000 subscribers. Mm-hmm. But all of my subscribers came for like, so I was doing freestyles at one point. Like, I had rappers come and then on. Then you need to freestyles. make a different video. I mean, you need to make a different channel. Oh, shit. A whole different channel? Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's too late for that now. I don't but think so because. You should make a whole different channel because all your subscribers came for your freestyles. They're not coming here for your podcast. Mm. You need to make a podcast channel. And you can see the difference, though. Like, yeah. you'll see, like, podcasts. I'm talking about some bullshit. Yeah. Like, but, like, you'll see a rap video. Yeah. I'm like, the fuck, bro? Yeah. Yep. Damn. But that's what your subscribers came there for originally. I mean, I had the same thing, though, because when I first started, I was doing makeup mm-hmm. and just tutorials. And then when I started switching over to lifestyle, it was really hard. However, lifestyle is closely related with, with makeup. So I was mm. able to, like... Get some of the followers. Yeah, get they they cared a little bit because even in my lifestyle vlogs, I'm doing my makeup sometimes. So I was able to get my people to transition. But if it's something that literally one does not have to do with the Damn. other, you probably need to start. A it's crazy channel. because I was telling somebody that like it might sound crazy, but not to you because you clearly noticed. I was like, yo, what I hate. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a gift and a curse. I don't like going viral. Oh it yeah, fucks up my Instagram. Like yeah. I got a lot of followers because I went viral like four, maybe five times. But it's all the way was different. Yeah. First time was for something. Second time was for something. Third time was something totally. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, it frustrates me because like now it fucks up my engagement. Like I might post it something. It does. I'll post something. It does fuck up your engagement. Bro, like I'll post something and it's like. Yo. Instagram is hard though. But I don't YouTube even is try. Harder. I don't think so. I think, I think YouTube is easier than Instagram. And I have more followers on Instagram than YouTube. I hate. I hate Instagram's algorithm. It literally makes no sense. Bro, YouTube I is have I, Every time I go on to, you, on to Instagram, every single day, Instagram tells me I have like 200 more followers mm-hmm. every single day. My number on YouTube has stayed the same for like over a year. I don't understand because every time I get on, it's, it's like you have 200 new followers every single day. Every single day. But my number on YouTube has, not on YouTube, on Instagram has stayed the same. Instagram is like the hardest thing to figure out. That's why I said I don't even like taking sponsorships on Instagram. My Instagram, like I actually don't, I literally gave up on the algorithm. I don't care anymore. I'd rather literally just post pictures when I'm doing stuff just to post. I like, you know what I like on Instagram now? I like that they took the uh, like button off and, and that you can hide your likes. I'm going to tell you why. Oh, because yeah. Because now, like me, 
I can post a picture, and let's say if I'm not getting 1,000 likes, even if I'm getting 500 likes or whatever, if I hide it, I can now I can post something that I really like because yeah. you're not going to know anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I got pictures on there that got 1,000 likes, and I still hit it. You know what I'm saying? Because the next po- the next picture might not get 1,000, might get 400, but I like the picture. Yeah. And, and certain people like their feet to look a certain way. Yeah. So, like, I like that they took that off. Yeah. I personally think YouTube is harder just because it's like, it's more, what is it called? It's, it's um, not encouraging. It's, it's discour- discouraging. 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 <laughs> I was about to say disencouraging. Discouraging. <laughs> but it's, it's discouraging. I'm going to tell you why. Because, like, for me, like, like you said, you get a video on YouTube that did really well, mm-hmm. that did 50,000. 50, now you post a video and it's easy to 100. Not a hundred thousand, a hundred, and it's like, yeah, I'm not like this is embarrassing. So it's, it's like, not embarrassing though to you because you ain't getting a hundred views. <laughs> I did though, I did, and I, I actually, I it's so funny. I actually recently deleted that video because there was a video I did that did not do well at all. Like right, so it you literally deleted did it terrible. It's dis- discouraging. Well, See? I deleted it. I del- it was discouraging, but I actually deleted it because I felt like it wasn't on par with the rest of my content. And that's why I had 100 views on it. Mm, I feel like, I don't know, like, I'm doing this podcast thing. I'm getting away from the rap shit. People are like, bro, I want to see rap. And it's Is true. it not your passion anymore? Nah, it's just, like, I was doing rap. I was working at a radio station, so, like, let's do rap. But now, like, I'm, I am I do podcasts, and I enjoy it, and, like, I like talking to people. But, yeah, it like, I have to remind myself, because, like, me and my girlfriend did a podcast or whatever, and, like, I'm not going to lie, it's one of the one of the um most memorable and special things to me because we did a podcast and I actually saw it grow. Like I saw it go from like on um we got something called Anchor. That's what mm-hmm. like distributed to uh Apple Podcasts and things like that. It was getting like a hundred views, a hundred listens, fifty listens, and then it just started doing like a thousand. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like over time. And I have to tell myself all the time, like, bro, you gotta be consistent. Yeah. It's gonna change. But it's really discouraging because it's be like, yo, like, first of all, this shit costs money. These mm-hmm. people cost money. <laughs> Everything is money. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To post something and you tell me it's worth 100 views, don't play with me. You feel me? But I got to remind myself over and over, like, bro, you got to understand it's different content, one. Yeah. And you just got to be consistent. But, yeah. like, oh, it can get frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've been frustrated and I and well first of all I commend you for keep going for like keeping it up when you're frustrated because when I got frustrated I just stopped doing it I was like fuck this I ain't doing this shit no yeah. more I keep y'all it got going. me fucked up y'all like, think I'm about to be filming these videos and y'all not watching them it's weird because like people would never know yeah they would never know like you know how they say check on your strong friend yeah they would never know like I just be like fuck it I just be banging the wall by myself like fuck but no. like fuck it I just, I don't know. It's never gotten me to that point. I will say I of went through. Of course, you started off with 7,000 views. You said it. You said yeah, it. Yeah, but that was just the first video. After, if, if that's what I'm expecting for every video and then no video after that did well, I was definitely disappointed. Yeah, you said you stopped for like a month. I stopped for months. I yeah. stopped for a very long time. And it's what's so crazy is I was doing so much shit when I stopped. I had so much good content that I could have posted that I literally just did not record because it was just like fuck it, I'm not doing that shit. You would no tell more. girls now until like, like now that you know better, like just keep fuck it, just don't pay attention keep, to the numbers. Yes, exactly. First of all, you should be doing YouTube because you like it, not because of numbers. Mm. If I'm being honest with you, um, and when I first started it, I was doing it for numbers. That's why I wasn't seeing a return on it because I was doing it for numbers. And then when I started recording stuff just out of fun, like on my vacations that I would go on, my girlfriend. All of, like, just me, like, vlogging my life. When I started having fun doing that, that's when I saw, like, a return a return on it. Do you think, and this is a personal question, do you think that, like, you see more of, uh, like, viewership or, like, um, engagement when you do things that you personally care about and not what you, what you think people want to, what you think people want to see? I get more views <clears throat> with my relationship. Mm. If anything that involves my girlfriend. Right, though. Yeah. Every, anything that involves my girlfriend. No, nah, relationship automatically goes viral. You know why I don't like that though? Why? Because of relationship. Yeah. Well, I'm private. <laughs> I'm kind of private with my relationship like, anyway. Like, and my girlfriend is not with like that YouTube. Like if she be looking at me crazy if I put a camera on her. But um, Amy, right? Mm-hmm. Amy is cool though. Like she like drippy. Like she lit. Yeah, but she don't like she don't like social media. Very drippy. Very lit. But, but like, don't like lit, social. Though, like, don't like social media. I was looking at her Instagram like. 
Yeah. <laughs> but she don't like but but if you look at her social media, you see she posts like once a damn year. Like she I don't facts, right? She don't really she don't really like that. She's very low key. She's very like that's why when you asked me, I was like, she's not doing no shit like this. She I asked not, that because like she 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 wouldn't do but this. but that bro but that but I can talk about us but that but. <laughs> though I think she would want to I think that's cool. what I'll ask you about we can talk about that later but I because couples so yeah she don't care about that but the thing is but that's the thing so if it was a situation where it was just kind of like girl we can make so much money oh yeah it's not that not we yet. don't we don't yeah, need yeah, money yeah, so yeah, she's right. like I don't care I don't give I don't give a does that ever like this scare not the scares but like you ever think about it like, man, I don't need no money, so like, I don't need to do this? Or you just enjoy doing it? I just enjoy doing it. Now, I will, in a second, I will tell a brand, I'm not, Facts. I'm yeah, not yeah. fucking, I'm like, now. I'm not doing this. Yeah, I'm, like, like, you're not doing me a favor. Like, I'm good. I'm, like, I don't need this sponsorship, so you Facts. can move on to another influencer or whatever that will take that rate that you're trying to pay. Like, I'm not, you kiss my ass. I'm really, nah, I'm facts. literally not taking it. When you ass. get money, it's different. It's like, man, nigga, fuck you, nigga. I was kind of like that before, though. And just to be honest, it's because I already have money. Like, mm-hmm. without without YouTube, I just already have money. So, I was, I was already in a position not to sell myself short. So, I cannot tell people not to take discounted rates because I grew up rich. I already have money. So, I have never been in a position where I just take whatever. Um, and I would... Also, I would never tell anybody to take whatever. Know your worth for sure. Don't let nobody. I would never do nothing in exchange for promo. Like, you're not going to say, can I send you this? No. Um, but I understand that some people, like, you. sometimes you do need to negotiate your rate. Even me. I have to negotiate my rate sometimes. Some brands are smaller, and I understand that you can't pay thousands of dollars to be in somebody's video for two minutes. Yo, how was, I feel like, we talked for, how long do you think we talked? The win. Right now. 30 minutes. Mm-mm. No? How long you talk? We talked for 50 minutes. Really? 50 minutes. And we ain't even talked about half of what you got going on. Oh, my god. We gosh. literally just talked about YouTube shit. Are y'all bored? <laughs> they probably... <laughs> like, I'm, Don't lie. I'm here, like, okay. because... I'm here. Can we take a shot to that? For no. F- yes. Damn it. <laughs> for 50 minutes not knowing. Come on. Damn. What like, we about to get into next? Yo, what the nigga said? What the nigga said? Bro, you want a shot ticket, motherfucker? <laughs> what we about to get into next? Hold on. I mean, we we we, we pretty much done, but I, I do I do want to give something for the audience. Like, oh, okay. This is not the type. Of, this is not what I thought we was gonna be talking about. What you thought we was gonna talk about? Like Lesbians, messy shit. Tech, sex toys. Also, bro, I know. Am I? I'm fucking up, bro. We gotta talk about that because I, I feel like. Oh my god. Br- <laughs> Brittany said she like I want to like. Let's talk about lesbian shit. Oh on. my gosh! This that's, that's, just, what's your, what's your, what's that's your, when I came here thinking that we were going to talk about. So want, this was what's, refreshing. What's, nah, nah, because I'm fucking up. Clearly, I ain't giving the people what they want. Like clearly, I'm fucking up. What's your Amy favorite toy? <laughs> you said it. Um. Just pull your shot first. Pull your shot first. It's gonna feel better. It's, it's gonna feel better coming out when you pull it after you drink your shot. <laughs> so when she say something, you can be like, I was drunk. <laughs> she ain't even let me tell you something she ain't gonna watch it no shout out to Amy shout out to girlfriends that don't watch it cause my girlfriend probably not gonna watch it either <laughs> what is me and Amy's favorite toy don't say the rose <laughs> take a shot <laughs> <laughs> what's y'all favorite toy fingers fingers that's boring that's yeah. whack you watch porn Yes. What's what's your fake what's your what's your category what's your go to category? <laughs> Big titties. Big titties from somebody that got a breast reduction. <laughs> like what? <laughs> you got a breast reduction. Like yeah. you got <sighs> Big titties? Yeah. So, why? Move th- okay. is this fine? I'm a titty so girl. You move it or- I'm a, I'm a titty girl. I like titties. So wait, what about Even though my girlfriend has small titties, that's crazy. But I just feel like that's gay, first of all. Like, you can't, like, I feel like she wouldn't like that. Or maybe she, like, is she, she, like, a dumb dumb? Or, like, because I feel like sir, if you're a dumb, I look at you as a guy. So certain shit you can't do. My girlfriend is a virgin. So she's the dumb dumb. She, yeah, nothing is going in her at all. Right. Ever. So, but when you talk about her titties, I feel like you just can't do that. No, yes, I can. She's not a touch me not. That's what a touch me not. Those are the type of lesbians that don't want, no. Okay. My girlfriend is actually, I know that she dresses. 
like a stud. My girlfriend's actually very feminine. Oh. And to be very frank with you, she's actually more feminine than me. For real? Like in her mannerisms and stuff like that, Amy is actually more feminine than me. Wow. Um, I'm the one that she be having to say like, damn, bitch, soften up. Like, relax. So like, your favorite toy is your fingers. I, we don't use toys, actually. To be honest with you, uh, okay, I don't know how to say this, but you say this one. I neither one of us are... I don't need penetration, so we don't we don't really use. So you was the type of girl that was straight at one point, and ain't. I was the type of girl that was acting like she was straight, and I was. Oh, so you was gay the whole time. Yeah, Mm. yeah. And but my my mom was very religious, and she wasn't having that shit. So I was trying to be straight. What age did you convert to being gay? (laughs) (laughs) I was always gay, but I haven't I haven't been with a man in probably ten years. God damn. I've been with Amy for six. Oh, man, okay. I mean, okay. And then four years after that, I was walling out with girls. Um, but, yeah, I don't think I've been with what's a man the in most, 10 years. What's the most, like, interesting or, like, I don't want to say sexiest, but, like, what's the most, what's the biggest turn on that a girl, like, for that, that, that makes you want to be with a girl? We're going to say this because Amy might be watching. What's the most interesting thing that makes you want to be with Amy? <laughs> she, might be, she might be watching. Um, Actually, you know what's so funny? It's not like anything physical. It's the fact that my girlfriend is not mixy. I don't like mixy people. Mm. Like the fact that my girlfriend, you be like, she don't do, she, she, she low key. You barely ever see her. She don't like really like Instagram. But you mixy kind of a little bit. You want you ain't asked me. You ain't asked me nothing about me. You asked me about my girl. What I like about my girlfriend. I like that my girlfriend is not mixy. I couldn't be with a mixy girl. Okay. You I don't know, like that. I don't okay. want you smiling in everybody's face. I'm talking to everybody. You know, I gotta start doing like I gotta start getting messy on the pie because people clip. This is the second person today that's like I thought we was gonna talk about this. I'm. I did. To- that's what. The, but did you know what? That's my fault. I should have did my research. No, nah, I mean, but it's fine because I like again. I, I was thought saying, it was gonna be a messy podcast. I was trying to mentally prepare so, myself for the type of questions. That I was so it's get. weird because like my like I've had like I said I've had podcasts that went viral having fun. But usually, I, I I really like to, like, like you giving gems. You feel me? Like, I want mm-hmm. people to learn. Like, I want people to understand, like, yo, it's a hard road. Like, it's, it's not easy to do YouTube, but you can do it. You no, know what I'm saying? Good. Like, no, that's but good. It's just coming, not, it's just not what I was expecting. It's not wrong but with I gotta it. Give, no, I got to give people what they want. I got I to gotta start giving people what they want. Because people don't, clearly, people ain't being, trying to be motivated. Like, I ain't trying to be motivated, Jay. We want to hear some tea. We want to get messy. We trying to get lit. Like, I ain't trying to get motivated, bro. Like, don't tell me how to start my YouTube. Like, we want to hear how they fucking each other. And oh, my they, gosh. You, <laughs> you started it. <laughs> you started it. So, I, I didn't, I'm sorry. I Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I, like, me personally, and this is where I was going with it. Mm-hmm. Me personally. The shit that people care about, like the the, the, the mixy shit and like the trending shit, mm-hmm. I don't really care about. Mm. However, I'm smart really? enough. Really? Yeah, like I'm smart enough to know that that's what sells. Yeah. But if I if like if I had it my way, I would love to have a conversation like we just had, like yeah. like learning. And no, like, it was fun. It was actually very fun. I wasn't saying that anything was wrong with it. I actually, I, I loved it. I had fun. I just wasn't expecting it. So expecting clearly, it. I'm yeah. doing the wrong thing. No, but when you <laughs> think of when you think of a podcast, that's what you think of. Like no, that. No, podcast with people learning. People talk about finance. People talk about fucking. That ain't never. That ain't the podcast that I be invited to. So <laughs> that's not what I was your expecting. Leisure? Huh? Earn your leisure. That's a lit ass podcast. They talk about finances and getting money and shit. Yeah, I never heard of it. But they lit. They really good. But I'm a, earn your leisure. I'm gonna look it up when I look go. it up. So I, so basically, what I learned today is Jay, make sure you prepare to get lit. And I'm trying to go there. I'm trying to start right now. There, I just don't you can know have a you can have a get lit get lit segment with each guest that you have. I feel like we talk about like your favorite toys, your fingers. I don't even know where else to go if I wanted to. Like like I don't even know what else to ask. Like have y'all ever? Had, I feel like you said Amy is. Feminine. Yes. Y'all ever had a threesome? I have not had a, had a threesome with Amy. Oh, but you had one before. Yes. What's what's like your biggest turn off for having a threesome? A big biggest turn off. Mm-hmm. I'm oh. reaching at this point. I'm I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I. That, that. I don't know if I've ever had a turn off in a threesome. So you just fuck with it. I did it at, at the time that I was doing them. 
That's interesting. Cause I, but when I was, but I wasn't in a relationship, so I, it, there was no turn off for me because I wasn't in a relationship. Like I didn't care. So are you the type of girl? <laughs> so you 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 seem like the type of girl that would only have threesomes with people that you're not in a relationship with. I wouldn't have a threesome with Amy. With in another girl now. Oh my! Not God. at this stage in my relationship. I what? might have. That's done the it. one you should have a threesome with, like the person that you're in love but with. We, but no, like I, my sex life is very good. I don't. I don't like. I feel like that's the type of thing you do to spice up your sex life. I don't. Or something to reward your partner with. Reward her for what? I'm the reward. <laughs> what am I rewarding her for? I mean, for being a good girlfriend, like. Right, if she that's what I'm a, for. If she wanted to have a threesome, right? No. You wouldn't do it? For no, ages? I'm literally almost probably on the verge of getting married. No. I'm, and I'm also 31. Like, that's not just, that's just not the point that I'm at anymore in my life. I was at that point. If she would have asked me for this when we first started dating. Maybe. Yes. But I feel like, yo, if, if you're a good woman, right? Like, no. you're a good girlfriend You're about to, me, to really say some bullshit. I'm not. I feel like. If you're a good woman, you would give your like, girlfriend like, no, a No, 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 no. I'm, I'm thinking, like, if I'm a good man, right? If I'm, right. If I'm a good man to you, mm -hmm. I do everything. Yeah. I hold it down. Mm. I'm fucking, I'm faithful. I'm I'm respectful. Those all are that. all things that you should, you should be doing. Be. Oh, my God. You we should, don't it's need. It's a monogamous relationship. You should be. But you should be. You want to be rewarded <sighs> for doing things that you should do before you even ask me to get into a relationship with you. statistics. Statistics. We look at this as the statistics. Most people aren't. It just is what it is. So if I'm everything. What statistics? You Those see. are the statistics of being with a man? So most people are people? They should be. They should be, but they're not. So then why are people in relationships? Are you. You're not being dead ass right now. I'm actually really being dead ass right now. So you tell me. I, I genuinely do not understand why people get in relationships. And just keep cheat and just cheat. I don't get it. Because then just don't be with me. But it, no, people cheat because they can't control themselves. People cheat because they want to have fun. That's a problem. People cheat, right? It is, but that's what the majority of the world. You know, you understand. Why get in a relationship with me to play with me? I mean, that's stupid to me. But again, that's not the majority. I'm not the majority. Hmm. I'm faithful. I'm not a majority. But if you got somebody that's good to you, that takes care of you, that takes care of home, that pays the bills, Shh. that. That's right. what I got. That's, that's why I'm saying it. I right. don't pay no so, bills. That's why I'm saying it. If you got somebody like that, and they want, I'm not, because Amy, you said she's feminine. I'm assuming she don't want a threesome. But if she want a threesome, you should be like, if Amy, yes, babe, whatever you want. What? Yeah. I'm just, I said it. Yup. If Amy say, babe, I'm been thinking about having a threesome. You should be like, babe, whatever you want. What? You sound crazy. Maybe it's the liquor. Fuck it. Yeah, you said it you is. Wanted to bring, you said you want to have this conversation. Bring so. somebody into our relationship because you are a good girlfriend. Because you're doing what you're supposed to do. Oh my God. I can take her out to dinner. I gotta bring. I gotta do a threesome. You could take her out to dinner any other time. A threesome is something this special. Sound crazy to does is this sound... how all men think? Like this don't sound crazy to y'all? Yo, of no, no, I'm being dead ass. <laughs> is this really how all men think? No. Like you think that because you're a good boyfriend, you should get a threesome? No. Okay. Wow, these guys are clearly out of their fucking mind. All I'm saying is, listen, if she's good to you. Are you a good boyfriend? You hold it down? I'm an excellent man. So you should get a threesome? I don't want a threesome. What are we talking about right now then? No, I'm, no, I'm like, saying. What are we even no, talking about no, what right I'm now? I'm saying if she want no. I, I, first of all, I might be lit, but I know exactly what I said. I said if she came to you and asked for a threesome. Okay, so what you're saying is if you went to your girlfriend and asked for a threesome, she should oblige. She, she should be at least open to it, yes. Know why? Because of relationship. Because you're a good boyfriend? Yes, know why? Know why? I'm going to tell you why. Sis, because we are a partnership, right? You want to take another shot? We are a partnership. No, I don't because I think you've had enough shots, actually. <laughs> no, 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 I listen. think it's the shots talking. We are, no. Actually, I wasn't going here until you was like, I, I thought we was going to talk about it. So I'm like, turn it up. Fuck that it. didn't mean, but that didn't you mean talk that? about it. I'm, I was just oh telling you. God. She said I thought we was going to talk I about something. I was telling you what I thought. Right? I was telling you what I thought your podcast was So I said, was fuck be it. About. Let's go there. No. That's fine. But your train <laughs> of thought is crazy. Right. So, so listen, if your friend, if your, if your, if your partner says, I think I want to do X, Y, and Z. Right. If they're a good partner, mm -hmm. I feel like being a good partner to, to a good partner is, Considering it, one, 
right? Right. And if you're totally uh, against it, okay, cool, respect, because I'm not about to say, I'm not going to force you to do anything. Mm. But if it's a good part, I think it should at least be considered, and let's look at some boundaries, and, and let's look at how we could make it work, if you're open to it, or if we can make it work. I, I don't think that's crazy. No. It's not, you're not asking... You're not asking for a Rolex because you're a good man. You're literally asking me to bring someone else into our relationship and mm-hmm. to the most intimate part of our relationship as a reward for you doing shit that you should be fucking doing. I mean, different strokes for different folks. No. So we can't agree? No, that's not an agree to disagree moment. That's so we a, can't agree to disagree? No. You're- not on that. Not on on not on any man expecting to get a threesome because they're a good boyfriend. But we can't. So That's crazy. So you sound like, crazy. So I feel like you in a relationship. This like if you can't agree to disagree. That's wild. You say I, I'm crazy. No, That's crazy. I can't. Not on this subject. You can't agree to disagree. No. That's crazy. I feel like that's the definition of insane. Like, you can't agree to I disagree. I hope they light your ass up in these comments because I can't believe that you're saying that somebody should get a threesome. I hope I get because- canceled. You wouldn't get canceled over this. I would hope I get canceled. You wouldn't get canceled Please over cancel. this. Please <laughs> cancel. Nobody get... could cancel you over this except for your girlfriend. When you get canceled. Yeah, not for my. I hope. Not for my. I hope. My girl. <laughs> I need to talk to her clearly. I need to ask a few questions. Hold up. Please don't. Not my girlfriend. I can't wait to see her in the elevator. I'm like, hey, girl, so, I got a question for you. What you want? Your, your nigga out here wilding. We ain't wild. I ain't wilding. Trust me. <laughs> Let me tell you what he's saying. And she probably be like, "Well, no, she not." You don't know what she gonna say because she don't know what the fuck is going. <laughs> you did it. All I'm saying is you. You said I thought we. Y'all, I did not start it. this conversation. I all I said was I we thought was this having was, business conversation. All so I said was the YouTube. I like, literally I all I up, said so was it was the, it was the end of the show, and I was like, dang, this is not what I was expecting. It wasn't a. Ask me what my favorite toy is. I mean, <laughs> fuck it. We go. You said I'm like fuck it. Hey. So okay. clearly we know who ain't getting threesomes, but whatever. I'm not. I'm at a point in my relationship where I just don't feel like it's necessary. I said this anymore. earlier. I feel like I hate that. Like, don't come to me with this old man, old woman shit. Like, I'm, I'm mature. I didn't did all of this, so no, I'm not gonna do it with that's, you. But that's not. But that's not what I mean at all. You said I'm 31. You yes, said I'm 31. I'm not at that point in my life anyway. It has nothing to do with being old. My sex life is rowdy. I have a really good sex life. What's rowdy about your sex life? Tell me a the, lot. Tell me the rowdiest thing about your sex life. I'm not telling you that because that's not your business. Just know I fuck all day. So she don't need a threesome. Facts. I can see that. I got 60 wigs in my closet. Who you want me to be today? <laughs> I'm the threesome. Facts. Me. You ever wore two? two you want a blonde? Yeah, I can be a blonde tonight. You ever wore two wigs at the same time? Like, I'm two bitches. <laughs> no, but I can do that if that's what she want. <laughs> if that's what she want, I can do that. Yo, Ayana, yo, uh, I appreciate you for pulling up. You spit a lot of game. We had some fun. At the end, thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, we had some drinks. Uh, let people know how to follow you if they're not already following you and all that, all that good shit. Hi, guys. Um, <laughs> I am Ayana Fight on Instagram, and I am Ayana Fight on YouTube. I think that's But it. I can't introduce it as Ayana Fight because it's weird. Well, I try to just put Ayana. Can you spell it? Because it might be different. Spell it. <laughs> A-Y-A-N-A-F as in Frank. I T dot com. Hey, on a fight, man. Mr. J Hill Conversation <laughs> Series. I appreciate you. I really thank you, though. Um, It was worth it. We waited. It was worth it. Thank you. It was really good, huh? You guys have a great night. I said. <laughs> okay.